I want to take a second and say thank you for coming out today as we present uh, the key to the city to coach Danny Hurley. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody that waves the Jersey City flag like Coach Hurley. Um, I said to him when we were in the conference room before that he may not even remember, but uh, you know, on the post-game interview on the floor, watching it when the entire country was watching UConn win, um, he gives a shout out to Jersey City. I said, it's probably a blur to you. I said, to us, it meant a lot. You know, when I watched it on TV, yeah. I, I was, uh, didn't know what to expect. I was watching it on TV and my wife Jacqueline was next to us and, and, and he goes on about Jersey City and she just says, wow, that guy really loves Jersey City. And, uh, and uh, I said, he does. Um, you know, you think about the things that make Jersey City special and it is that kind of underdog spirit, that grit, that tenacity, that can-do attitude. It, it's, it's all the things that we know um, this city is about. And, and when somebody goes out there and does some significant things uh, truly on the national stage that embody what we represent, um, we, want, we want to acknowledge that. I mean, he is an ambassador everywhere he goes for all of us in Jersey City, and we couldn't be more proud to have him. On behalf of all of us here in Jersey City, the 300,000 people that call Jersey City home and the hundreds of thousands of people that have ties to Jersey City, it's a privilege to present Coach Danny Hurley with the key to the city. Uh, I wrote some things down. I had no idea really um, what to try to prepare in terms of some words because I called around to some people that are, you know, mentors of mine. I said, well, you know, what, what are you supposed to say when you get a key to a city? And none of them got a key to their city, right? <laughs> so no one can help me in, in terms of what to do up here. Um, I just want to thank, you know, Mayor, Mayor Fulop, you know, for inviting me for such an incredible honor. You know, Jersey City means so much to me. Obviously, you get in front of a mic so much during the NCAA tournament that really by the end of it, you're just like kind of speaking like just, uh, it's almost like therapy, you know? <laughs> You're just saying what's on your mind and how you feel, and, and for me, it was just really or, uh, organic, authentic, how I was feeling at the time um, about like what Jersey City has meant growing up here, um, you know, what it's done for me in terms of, you know, you know my, my growth and who I am today and how it's impacted every part of my life. Um, obviously, I got a... a Incredible family, um, you know, my wife. I got the home team right in front of me right here, my wife Andrea, uh, Andrew and Danny. <laughs> Undefeated at home, I got the best home team in the country right there. And then obviously my mom and my dad, uh, you know, the patriarch of this whole Hurley basketball thing right there, Bob <laughs> Sr., my mom. And, and their impact, uh, obviously, uh, you know, Jer Jersey City, you know, and my, and my sister Melissa, and my uh, and uh, my mother-in-law, you know, Patty, and, and my nephew Gabe. There, uh, it's just great to have my, my Jersey City and, and my extended family here. Uh, you know, but for me, just growing up in the city, it, it, I said it on the, uh, on on the TV. There it was like, it's one of my one of the most diverse cities in the country. So I think. You know, as a coach and as a leader, your ability, um, you know, to build relationships and to lead all different types of people from all different types of background, being from here, that, you know, puts you in a, it just, you, you develop a skill set that way. You know, the toughness piece, I mean, you grew up in Jersey City here, um, you know, you're going to have a toughness about you. So we went through a terrible month of January where we were playing horrible and, um, you know, that's where the toughness of coming from the city, uh, you know, really kicks in. You know, that the, the sense of community here. I, I see people in here I haven't seen 20 years, you know, 25 years, and it's like it's blowing my mind, the amount of people in, in here that have had an impact on my life. You know, Bobby Vote over there, when I walked in, I saw him, it just freaked me out, right? That guy, he don't even know how big of an impact all those days at White Eagle, those pickup games, how much I learned from him and how much I've taken with him. So that sense of community, you know, as a, as a, as a college coach or as, uh, as a husband or a father, like, 
being from here, there's a sense of that, like neighborhoods helped raise you, um, you know, when, when you were a kid. So, so much of, of this place um, just means everything to me. I reflect on it all the time and uh, just really, really incredibly blessed. You come from, from this city, you're, you're gonna be a hard worker. And I had that modeled for me with, with so many people, you know, that I came across just, uh, you know, either in the neighborhood or teachers or coaches that impact me you know, throughout my time. So like you, you see that and then you become a coach your teams, and you saw that from watching us play, I mean, we were prepared at an elite level, and that's, you know, I, I drive my program with, with that same work ethic and, you know, mentality that you, you learn by growing up in a, in a place like this. Greenville Country Village, right? And then, you know, every part of the city, whether it's the Heights or, or West Side Avenue or downtown, like every part of the city played a, a, a role in, 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 in raising me, and I just, I can't thank the city enough for everything it's done for me, the person that it's, it's helped create uh, and the impact it's had on my life. And, um, you know, I just, I love being from this place. It's like the best place to be from. So I thank everybody for coming out today.